cycling back and forth, and it never has enough to bring it back the other way. So that's interesting. Uh, although, look at the maximum displacement this way. It's not too different, right? It's 24 something after all that. The other way, though, it's not. It's different. Let's look at uh, frame 26. So that's our response, uh, moment 33. And then let's look at that versus... six displacement. So that's interesting. You get a little bit of wiggle there because it's not exactly the hysteretic response at that location because it's a total displacement of the structure. But we can go to uh, like this. They uh, display, show hinge results, and that's one hinge for example. Okay. So this is the plastic hinge at the bottom of uh, frame 26. And you can see it's vertical and so it forms a hinge. Here, uh, this shows you time. You can grab this too. So as I move, it's going to be, see it's moving all around? <laughs> That's what it's doing in moment versus rotation. Okay? So this, if you look over here, it gives you time, moment, rotation. So as I go, this is zero, zero. And then as I move it this way, well, let's click this. See? Oh. Yeah. It's going like this, it's going up, then down, it's going back. Now, it forms a plastic hinge. You see that right there? That's 5,000. And then it cycles around. You can see it's cycling around, looping. So each time it loops around, it's taking energy out of the system. It's damping it out of the spot. OK, that's enough for today. So I got to post the homework, like I said. Maybe tonight, probably what?